Hello everyone and welcome back to W Breaks and welcome on in to my review of the brand new 2024 Kai's Ninja Climbing Mech. This set retails for $70 here in the United States. Included is 623 pieces and 4 minifigures. Without further ado, let's take a look at this brand new Lego Ninjago set. Right off the bat, the numbers are not looking too good for this set. 4 minifigures and 623 pieces for $70 is already kind of rough, but we'll take a look at that with the upcoming full set. Taking a look at the box here, this looks really good. I feel like it displays the set really well. Keep in mind that a little bit later. I think it looks really good on the box here. Will it look that way in person? We'll see in a second. You have a great view of the minifigures. Nice new Dragon's Rising banner there at the top for 2024. On the top, you get to see the minifigures in the set, Kai being the highlight minifigure. I do think it's a little odd that it wouldn't be Jay, since this is the set that Jay is exclusive in, but not a big deal. Switching around to the side here, nothing too special. And around the back, once again, a great view of the climbing mech. Nothing to complain about here. Also, just for you notice, I know that two of the sets, the Dragonstone Shrine and the Shadow Dojo, both had tape on the box. This does not. This $70 set has the thumb tab. So if you care about that, those are there. And around the side here is a picture of Kai. Just like the uh, Dragonstone Shrine, this Kai minifigure actually has the wrong suit. Well, uh, half of the right suit, I should say. It has the armor of the older suit from last year, the Dragon's Rising suit, yet it has the body and legs of the climbing suit. So just a little odd that they kind of messed up their own design there on the box. But once again, nothing too crazy. Let's take a look at these minifigures. All right, and included in this set is four nice new minifigures. Included on the left is the brand new Wildfire. Next up is the exclusive Climbing Suit J. Then we've got Climbing Suit Kai, and finally ending with Jordana, who is still relatively new since she just released in January. On the left there, Wildfire looks great. Even though I hate Wildfire as a character, I think that this minifigure looks exceptional. Love the Fire Blast pieces in her hands, along with that new hair piece, which looks incredible. Jay looks awesome as well. I love that dark blue and gold combo there. He just looks stellar. They did a great job designing him. And of course, if you saw my review of the Shadow Dojo, you would know I am absolutely in love with this Kai minifigure. He looks so darn good. Very, very happy with these Climbing Suit Ninja minifigures. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. Finally, here is Jordana. And this is technically an exclusive Jordana minifigure because she does not have that cloth or the fuzzy thing around her neck. I, I don't know what you're going to call it. I don't, like part of a coat or something. Whatever. The fuzzy piece around her neck is not included here, making this an exclusive minifigure, you know, in the sense of how I collect figures and do everything like that. But in the regular sense, this is just a standard Jordana minifigure. Included is that nice new dual molded sword. She does also come with this weird jetpack thing, which I'll show you up close here right now. It seems Lego is really obsessed with making these strange little jetpack builds, and they have been for a very long time. In my opinion, it's just a cheap and easy way for Lego to throw in a few extra pieces to make a set not look as cheap as it really is. They couldn't include just the mech for $70, so they threw in this little jetpack to make it feel like there's something actually there. But this thing really isn't much. It's just a few pieces snapped together. Nothing too crazy. Do love getting two extra of those beautiful silver swords there on either side, though. Great little inclusions. You can definitely take this jetpack off and use those separately in a build or something. So, all in all, four good minifigures. Uh, nothing too really crazy to complain about here. Other than the fact that Jordana does come in three sets. And as a collector, it's disappointing to get the same minifigure over and over again. Especially when we should be getting more of the random henchmen or regular warriors. Not getting an extra Claw Warrior in this set I think was a massive disappointment. I think four minifigures is pretty low for a $70 set. Even though they are good minifigures, I think there definitely should have been a Wolf Claw Warrior included in the set to help with the price. All right, and here is the climbing mech. Right off the bat, you're going to look and you're going to say, hey, that looks pretty good. And I would agree with you. I love the colors. I think the colors look great. The black, red, flame orange, yellow, burgundy, and gold match perfectly. They did a great job in this. And the inclusion of a few stickers around the build really help it shine. This looks really good right off the bat. But when you dig a little bit closer, this is where this thing starts to fall apart for me. First off, you might notice that the hooks on either of the top hands are uneven. And that is because only one of them can actually lift off. And I didn't pay too close of attention to the product images before I bought this because I like to kind of enjoy it and and get a feel for the product once i have it in person 
But what you can do is just lift this off the back and then you have this cable, which I'll show you how this works in just a second. But this one over here on this side actually does nothing. It's just stationary there and you cannot move it. I think this set would have been 10 times better if they would have allowed you to have the same build on both sides. Not being able to display it using this side or have the climbing hook work on this side definitely hurts this build in a, a massive way. I actually went to hang this up myself on one of my shelves where I wanted it and I couldn't do it because only having the hook on this side, it just doesn't hang properly. So I don't know why they didn't just include the same hook over here on this side. Really dumb and strange thing in my opinion. I don't know why they didn't just make it symmetrical. It would have looked 10 times better. Having the arms just be completely uneven. Hold on, let me add this back here for you guys so you can see totally. Having the arms be completely uneven really gets to me you know, look at that. Really, really uneven there. Really don't like that at all, guys. I think it should have been even. They should have had both arms with the cables. And that would have made this build 10 times better. Like, seriously, that would have really helped. Because this arm feels really skimpy. Not much there compared to this big bulky arm. It just doesn't work in my opinion. Next up, when taking a look at a mech this size and costing so much money, people in the Ninjago community expect to be getting elbow joints or knee joints at this day and age. I mean, it is 2024. We should be expecting elbow and knee joints in these big expensive sets. Now, if you've seen my previous January reviews, I really love those small 20 and $30 mechs, even though they have the Evo style joints. I know a lot of people hate the Evo joints, but in a 20 to $30 set, I think that is totally acceptable. It holds the setup great and it looks terrific as well. But when we're moving up into the high price range sets, we should definitely be receiving elbows or knee joints or both and in this set you're getting neither the elbow is an evo joint that's right the elbow is still an evo joint this is 2024 and we're using evo joints as our elbows here in 70 dollars max big disappointing there not i'm not the i'm not a huge advocate for oh i need to have elbows i need to have knees it, you know it needs to be there so there's some people like that they they need their elbows and knee joints i'm not like that but when it comes to a $70 set, I expect something a little bit better than just slapping an Evo joint on there, slapping a tile with a sticker on it and calling it good. Just doesn't really work for me here, especially for a $70 mech. Next up here, the hand looks pretty good. Good rotation there on the hand, and I really like this sword. Uh, so nothing too much to complain about there. It's just that, that elbow. It doesn't work for me. Look at this. This is your range of motion here on this mech. Just forward and back. I mean, a little bit of side to side there. But the fact that we couldn't, you know, rotate this any more than what we've got in that elbow is just really disappointing to me. I would have liked some sort of movement there. And uh, we just, there's no give. And just, you know, the plain Evo joint just really feels cheap to me. I feel like they could have done something better there. And uh, they just, they cheaped out on it. And I mean, there's no explanation for it other than that. They, they could have done it and they chose not to. And for people that are saying, well, it's a $70 mech, it's not $120, what are you expecting? This is the Zane's Titan mech released back in 2021. And this set was $50 in stores and included its beautiful elbow joints right there, shoulder joints, and of course, these gorgeous knee joints. And the mech is still stable and looks incredible on display. They can do it. They chose not to. Also, look at the bulk of this mech in comparison to this one. Remember, $50 a few years ago, $70 now. So I just wanted to point that out there for all of you. It could be done. It can be done. They chose not to have it done. So taking a look at the legs now, I actually really liked them. As I was building them, I thought, wow, these look really, really cool. I loved the thighs here. Thought it looked really good. The red looks great. The little sticker detail on there looks great. And then as I was building this section, I was like, okay, this is going to be where the knee connects up and does stuff. And then I realized, I looked back at the box and I said, oh, wait a minute. That's the bottom of the leg. This mech is actually really, really short. I'm going to compare it to the old fire mech for you guys in just a second so you can see that. I'm actually going to have a full fire mech versus fire mech comparison video out on the channel within a week. But uh, they're very, very small legs, very thin, as you can see, just one Technic bar down. And then they use this classic Technic beam here to give you some rotation on the foot there, which I really like that, that function there for the foot. I think that's really, really cool, especially for a mech. Yet this leg is just really, really skimpy, in my opinion. Not much there. Remember, guys, $70. When, when you're thinking about $70 here, 
that's a lot of money right now. And it's that's just not working for me. Next up, taking a look at the feet down here. The feet look fine. Nothing too crazy here. I typically really like feet on a Mac. I think Mac feet make the Mac look way cooler. It can give it height or it could destroy build. And I'm not saying this one's destroying the build. I'm not saying it's perfect. It's just kind of add to me. It's unique, which I like unique. I like stuff that I haven't seen before. And I haven't seen anything like that before. So I'm going to give them props for that. It is unique. It's different. It, But it's it's nothing crazy in my opinion. Lastly, I'm going to talk about the swords real quick. Really like the design of the swords. think they look pretty good. Finally, taking a look at the top of the hands here. No rotation on these things at all, as you see. I, I don't know what you're expecting to do with this. I can't even display it in a position where I think it looks good. It's just... It's there. And basically the same thing on this side. This one's got a little bit better just because it's in a better position thanks to this big bulky arm. But uh, once again, nothing crazy about these hands. And around the back here, as you see, it's pretty well done from the back. Nothing too ugly back there, which is always great to see them finish a build, you know, not have anything crazy ugly sticking out. Uh, but once again, that unevenness, there it is directly in line with each other. And that is how uneven this mech is. And that just really, really gets to me as a displayer. It's like, why could they not have just made it even, you know, it, even if this is this tow cable is extended, which you can see here, just sticks in right there to the Technic, Technic axle. Even if this is extended, it's still not even. I don't know why they wouldn't just do the same arm. It's It really boggles my mind. I don't understand it. Let me show you real quick how this works. Okay, so I hung this thing from my drapes, okay, in my room by the window. And uh, up here, as you can see, I just kind of hooked it to the top of the drapes, and it just holds itself up just like that. That's basically the only way it's going to sit up, just like that. Nothing too crazy, nothing too special, but uh, it, it does get the job done. If you're curious if you can hang them by a bookshelf, you can. This is how I did it on my bookshelf next to the Kai's and Zane's right here. And as you see, it just kind of hangs down just like that. Nothing crazy there. Um, it works, but once again, it would work better if I could have it on this side uh, of the arm. But, you know, if you want to hang it from, obviously, that side's up against the wall, so I can't really hang it over there. Uh, but if you wanted to do it from another side of a bookcase, you could do that as well. But really, just, it's cool. I think it's way better looking when it's hanging, but... I just wish that arm, I really wish that arm was the same as the other one. Because for me, that design choice is what hurts this set the most. All right, and finally, just like I said, I wanted to compare this quickly here to the original Fire Mech. I'm going to do a full video on this here in about a week comparing these two sets entirely. But just for a quick little look for you guys, here is the 2017 Fire Mech in comparison to this one. Let me hope it stands up there. Remember, this one has great movement, great feet, great feet movement, great arms, elbow joints, everything. Right there, that's pretty good. And there you see how much smaller this new one is right there. So much smaller, not even including the height of the flags. So much smaller than the original 2017 Fire Mac. And if you remember, the 2017 Fire Mac retailed for 70 US dollars. That's right. These sets are the same price according to Lego. They're not even comparable, guys. That's where that's where it hurts for me. It's you know, I'm looking at this one on my shelf behind me. There's a reason it's back there. That's my favorite Ninjago mech of all time. I think that's like the perfection of mechs. I think it's super cool. I love that mech. And uh this one, it's just it doesn't even compare to this one. $70 right there next to each other. And uh, remember, this one also came with like six minifigures. So, wow, guys, yeah, not even comparable in my opinion. Let me talk price here with you guys. We'll talk all about this here at the end of the video. All right, here we are at the end of the video, $70 right now. Take it or leave it. I'm going to say leave it. I'm going to say wait for a sale on this one. Now, I'm not going to say I hate this set because I don't. There's definitely some great aspects of this. I love the color scheme. The color scheme is nailed. I love that this mech is unique. It's a unique idea, and that's what we need to be seeing in 2024, and they nailed that unique idea. I just think there are so many design choices about this set that just completely fall flat for me. Like I said, this entire video, why did they not make it even? That is a massive thing for me. Why they didn't just make it symmetrical? It would have looked so much better. It would have had the better function where you could kind of hang it from either side that you wanted. And then once again, like I said, it really feels cheap when you come down to the elbows and knee joints. Like I said, I am not, uh, you need a knee joint, you need an elbow joint. 
The Fire Mac 2017 one does not have knee joints. And that doesn't matter to me. It's still my favorite Mac of all time. But in 2024, at this $70 price, I'm expecting something bigger than better than I've ever seen before. And we're still working at that $70 price point with Evo joints. I like them on $20 Macs, but when it comes to $70, I'm going to have to expect more from Lego. And these knees and the legs, just how thin they are, there's not much there. For $70, it just doesn't feel like you're getting that much. I, but once again, I still think there's value in it. Like I'm back and forth in here. I would say for sure though, 100%, don't buy this for $70 unless you absolutely love everything you've seen here today. If you're looking at this mech here after the review and you're saying, man, that thing is still really cool, then maybe this is for you and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, but in my opinion and from my experience over the last uh, 13 years of Lego Ninjago, I would say this one's going to be on sales. Uh, you're going to see it sales Amazon, Walmart, maybe even Lego.com. I don't know. Um, because I don't think people are going to be spending the $70 for this thing. And I think it'll be pushed off um, to, to the later dates where you're going to be seeing sales on it. So if you're really interested in this, but don't have the money right now, don't sweat it, guys. You can wait for that sale. It'll be coming around. And if I'm wrong, if the sale doesn't pop up, you can still hold off. This set's not going anywhere for quite a while. So you've got your time to go and get this set. One last thing I want to talk about here real quick at the end of the video. I've had some people criticizing my opinions and kind of going rampant in the comment sections here on the video. Remember, these are my opinions, guys. I've been collecting Lego Ninjago since the day it was released. You're not going to find somebody else out there with more knowledge than me of Lego Ninjago. I know what I'm talking about here, guys. I've done this my entire life. This is just, this is what I do. My goal here is not to say this sucks, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks, because that's the last thing I want. I want to be spending my money that I work hard for, I earn, and I want to get great products. But most importantly, I don't want people out there that don't have a lot of money. Maybe it's a kid that just got a hundred bucks for their birthday, or maybe it's the adult that's, you know, struggling to get through. They've got a little extra money on the side and they want to get a Lego set. Those people I don't want them spending their money and getting something they are not going to absolutely love. That is why it is my job here as W Bricks to review these products to the full extent that I can. I'm going to tell you what I think is good and what I think is bad. If there's something positive, I'm going to be telling you it's positive. If there's something negative, I am sure as heck going to tell you there's something negative because the last thing I want is some kid out there crying that he just wasted all of his money on a set that he's now got buyer's remorse for and he's not going to get money for maybe a year later. I want that kid to find the perfect set for him that he is going to, or, or she, he or she is going to absolutely love to build. And that is, that is my number one goal here. And same for adults. I don't want the adults going out. Maybe they, they don't got a lot of money right now. They, they're, you know, they're scraping by, but you know, they need to get a Lego set. They just need a little bit of enjoyment. I don't want them going out and picking up something uh, like the Dragonstone Shrine. They, they got a big spot opened up on their shelf and then it barely fits. You know, it's so tiny. It, it barely fills the space at all. I want them to get something they're going to really love and enjoy and have a great time building as well. It is my job here to make sure you are happy as a consumer when you buy this product. I am not affiliated by Lego. I'm not sure I plan to be. I, I am here to make sure that you guys alone have the best possible Lego building experience. So please remember that uh, and be respectful in the comment section below because I'm doing nothing here but trying to help you all. So thank you all for watching here today. I appreciate each of you that are always here in the comment section, always in the live chats. You all are the best. Thank you all for stopping by here today. Don't forget tomorrow night, the next Ninjago review coming out. We got a couple really good sets here to finish off this wave of Ninjago reviews. So make sure to stick around for those and a live stream where I'm going to be building some of the brand new Star Wars sets live. I'm be talking to you guys live. You know, we're going to be discussing everything you want to. Uh, that'll happen here in about a week. So make sure to stick around for that as well. Tons of Lego content on the way. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later on W Bricks. Ah!